Stick with me and I'll show you how to grow a cherry tree from a cherry pit. I really love cherries and I have these great cherry bushes, these Chinese cherry bushes. Um, and I saved some of the pits from last year. Now I have kept them in the freezer for a few weeks so they can stratify. Uh, but I also, around 4th July, they, they get these Northwest sweet cherries that I really love. I don't know if they'll grow here or not. But I saved some of the pits. So I'm going to show you how to propagate cherry seeds. Sorry, well, germinate them, I should say. Sorry, not propagate. Germinate them. The other thing about this, though, is you are really gambling when you try to grow um, a cherry tree from a cherry you liked. Because they might not be the same thing. They could have been pollinated and contaminated. So this is kind of more for fun. I might just plant these in the wild just for fun. I don't think I'm going to count on them to actually eat because this is going to take years before they'll grow into a viable cherry tree. But I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, the better way to do it is I'm going to later show you how to actually clone a cherry tree that's actually already growing in your yard that you like. Therefore, you're sure what you're getting. This is a complete unknown factor. So there you go. Let's, let's find out how to do this. So these are cherry pits that I saved. Um, I had some awesome cherries that were Northwest cherries. I do not know if they'll grow here or not. But I like the cherries so much that I actually saved some of the pits and stuck them in the freezer for the, the winter. That lets them stratify. The thing about getting cherry pits to grow is it is a complete crapshoot. Usually when you grow from a seed like this, the tree does not produce as good as fruit as you had. It's like a gamble because it gets pollinated by other things. You don't really know what you're getting. So I'm kind of growing these more for fun. I don't, you know, it's going to take like seven years before I get cherries out of them anyway. But I'm going to show you guys in case you're interested. Uh, there is better ways to do this. And I'm going to also show you how to take a clipping and grow a tree off a clipping of a, a tree you already know is good. So these are Northwest cherries. These are Chinese uh, cherry bush. I have a cherry bush outside that's been very successful. And I want to just try these as well. Um, now the reason a lot of people can't get cherries to grow, they'll take these pits and they never do anything, is because you have to crack them and get to the smaller seeds inside. These cherry pits, um, you know, in the winter they're supposed to freeze and heat up and freeze and crack. So you have to actually crack the shells off, and they're really hard to do sometimes. Oh, that one cracked good. But sometimes you lose a seed, they shoot across the room or something. Let's go ahead and find it right here. So the seed's actually kind of small. So we will save that with the others, and what I'm going to eventually do is put them on a wet paper towel and put them back in. because. These seeds have another skin that will keep them from growing. It's almost like a uh, peanut, how they have that skin. You've got to wet them down, let them germinate a little, and then those little skins will come off. Then you put them back in the fridge again and let them germinate for another few weeks. So I'll take you through that process. Okay, so I got all the Northwest ones ready. I put them in a damp paper towel and you need to make sure it's not wet like you should wring it and no water comes out otherwise you can cause them to get moldy. I just fold the towel over itself and it will go into the fridge for um, about a week and then I'll peel off the next layer of skin. This is the next stage of growing cherries from cherry pits. Now remember the better way to do it is to Maybe air layer a tree or uh, you know, um, even graft a tree because you kind of know what you're going to get and it'll grow faster. But some people like to try it from pits. This is a gamble, like I said before, but it is what it is. So we're just going to have some fun and grow some. So this is the Northwestern cherries. And what I did is you can see the skins I peeled off here. I just used a little knife and my fingernails to start it. And I peeled off the, um, they look a lot like peanuts. You know, the skin on peanuts. 
and here's the finish guys so you have a way you could either sprout these by putting them back in the fridge in a uh, like a, a damp uh, paper towel but I think I'm just gonna put them right into the ground so I'm gonna stick a few of these in like uh, a cup with some soil and see what happens and there's the other ones the uh, cherry bush and I just haven't I haven't quite done them yet so here is the northwestern cherry it's actually starting here there's a this is from the cherry bush the nankin and I think it's getting going too but that's the main one there this is the northwest cherry tree uh, you can get an idea what they look like it's a little burnt some of the, the um, had some weird weather here so some of the leaves are a little mangled here but it's gonna do just fine uh, the Nankin cherry I actually had to plant outside so I'll put a little picture of that to show how those pits came out so if you want to try this it's a lot of fun you know maybe get your kids together and, and salvage some of those cherries and, and plant them so I, I hope you give it a try I want to put this thing in the ground and who knows maybe in a few years I'll do another story to show you how the cherries taste <laughs> it's gonna take like five to seven years but maybe uh, maybe I'll still be around then anyway thanks so much for watching I hope you learned all about cherry pits and you give it a try as always, uh, check out my website below. If you sign up there, you get exclusive footage that's hard to find on YouTube, my unlisted and private videos. And uh, all you have to do is sign up for like a newsletter and I don't spam you or anything. And then you get access to all these cool videos. The other thing I was gonna tell you is that uh, I really appreciate you guys that have been shopping on my Amazon link below. Uh, when you get ready to buy something on Amazon, if you go through that link, it definitely helps me out since uh, YouTube kind of stinks at paying us anymore so I appreciate you uh, going through Amazon first if you're gonna go shopping lastly keep watching my videos check these other ones out I've got a whole bunch of videos on gardening and I hope you will check them out as always be nice to that cat